So, so I'm going to include the emails between me and the guy who's tuning my car. So make sure you pause the video and read them real quick so that you can get a better idea of what I'm talking about uh, throughout the video. Here's an update for all you guys who um, are waiting for me to make a video on my Mazda 6. So I do still have the car. Don't worry. Um, it is still getting tuned. And you're going to be like, what? It's been like months. Yes, it's been it's been months. Um, so there's a few issues. Well, actually, I got the car back briefly and I did make a video, but um, the thing was it wasn't finished. So I didn't want to... I wanted to like basically give you everything and since it wasn't finished i didn't want to like upload it and then have to make another one saying all right so i got everything finished this time so i didn't upload it <laughs> all right i'm back so if you're wondering i'm in a hotel why am i in a hotel well i'm on a uh, very high uh, priority business uh, trip right now. Anyway, the first problem with my with the Mazda is that the exhaust, if you know anything about my exhaust, you know that it's not actually made for my car. So it's for the, the non-turbo 2017 Mazda 6. And basically I got an intercooler and I got the intake and there's like, you know, a lot of good uh, cold air coming in but there's not a lot of air going out because the exhaust is it's like two and a half inches instead of three and the cork sport one i think is three inches like the uh inlet for whatever like basically the the cork sport one is uh thick or bigger the diameter is wider so um that's basically causing some issues but on top of that the down pipe is actually choking the exhaust a lot so but that's not really like that's everyone's downpipe, but my exhaust specifically has an issue. So pretty much, I I can't explain everything he told me because it was it's like literally months ago he told me everything. But um, the car was like okay, and he he finished it. he didn't finish it, but I needed it back real quick. And I was driving it, and it kind of it would die like at like five thousand RPMs, and he didn't know what the pro he thought it was maybe cutting boost because the temperature um and all kinds of things but i don't know what i didn't know what it was but i'm like you need to fix this so um while he was going to fix it the temperatures dropped like really cold and then the car wouldn't start so basically the sky active technology in the car like it was being like real finicky and the cold air like the cold temperature was causing it to like not start and stuff like that so pretty much he has to try to figure a way out he has to like build everything and that's so the second problem of my car that leads us straight into it is that no one's tuning it so there's not that many tuning it people tuning it and um if there are people tuning it like they're not posting anything really any like um troubles they have so everything's like new so like if he has a problem he can't you know go on the forums and and figure out what it is to get the f quick fix he has to like figure it out and then you know do it himself and all that so um that's also an issue um the third issue is there's some kind of software problem that he was talking about and maybe i'll get him to to explain everything at the end i'll ask him if he wants to be on my videos but um this is just my my dumbed down version of what he was talking about or telling me and i know he was saying that like the um basically the 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 ECU in general doesn't want to be played with. And um, once something does mess up, and this probably happens for like a lot of cars, but Mazda's like, this car is specifically like, you know, very troublesome. Um, basically if something happens, he doesn't know what caused it. And he has to like change like one thing at a time to see what caused it to have an issue. And it's just like trial and error. And uh, one thing, how I was saying how the temperature was causing it to stall and stuff. He has to basically wait for the car to cool back down and it has to be cold out, cold enough out for him to test it. So that's really slowing 
everything down. Like, so right now it's October and um, I think I got the car, the car was getting tuned with the intercooler in May, I wanna say, I think in May. So it's been a couple months and uh, it's really rough. So ultimately I wanted to make this update video to let you guys know what's going on. So I haven't posted that car in a while, but um, it's still here, it's still coming. Stay tuned. Should you get your Mazda tune? Uh, maybe you should wait. You might you might want to wait. Um, definitely get a better exhaust than me. So you might want to. So this one guy he commented on my video. Um, he got his exhaust custom made, but it was like based off of the Cork Sport one, and that's a great idea because the Cork Sport exhaust costs like a thousand dollars, and that's a lot of money. And um, but my exhaust, as far as sound, it doesn't sound necessarily bad. It's just if you're gonna tune it or if you if you want like you know the best flowing exhaust i don't think my exhaust isn't the one plus i want to recommend mine anyway because it didn't fit on my car like you have to get it fit at the shop and that's like you know extra money and all that so anyway i hope this wasn't too long um if you have any questions let me know i'll try to explain more later like i said i'll try to get him on the video but thanks for watching peace Make sure you subscribe to the video. <laughs> subscribe to my channel, please.